Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 4 of Let's Play Share in the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune, and the Dice of Fate. Let's get right into it. Let me hide the mouse up here. And, uh... Yeah. Matthew the Wanderer. Boom, 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 Alright, so in the last episode, we made it to Nekomaneki Village. Um, we already talked to everybody in this area. Uh, point shop, we already saw. This is the only building we haven't been in, the dungeon center. So let's check this out. I have some unique dungeons available. Do you want to try them out? No. That's fine. You shouldn't voice yourself. Come back when you're feeling up to the challenge. Huh. And why? Okay. Never mind. Ka 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 ka! I'm the concussive crone who loves explosions. Care to play with my explosion rocks? Explosion rocks? Ka, 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 ka. Explosion Rocks is a burning dynamite and explosive rocky area. The walls of the rocky area are soft, so hitting them will make them break. Behind the walls lies tons of treasure. However, inside the walls, bombs and monsters are also hiding, so it's a deadly risk-reward game. If you break walls with no monsters or bombs, it will have the numbers 1 to 7 written on the ground. That number shows how many bombs or monsters there are in the eight tiles around it. For example, if there is no number written, all adjacent walls are safe. But if it says seven, then all adjacent walls are dangerous. If you know there is a zone which is dangerous nearby, select look around and press Q or S to leave a mark. You don't get a reward for clearing it, but all the items you picked up are yours. There's good stuff in there. You probably won't understand just from hearing the explanation. You'll have to go and try it out yourself. You can't bring items or Giton with you, so store them safely and then go have yourself a blast. Or several. Ka 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 ka! It's free to play! So you don't want to give my explosion rocks a try? Uh, sure. Ka 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 ka! You can't bring items or Giton into explosion rocks. You'll lose all the items and Giton you have now. Are you sure you want to go in? I'll lose everything? No. Oh, alright. Youngsters these days aren't fiery enough. Come back when you're ready to burn up. Welcome. This is the Statue Cave. Would you like to play a game? What's the Statue Cave? As the name implies, the Statue Cave is a cave with many, many statues. Normal dungeons have you climb or descend stairs to clear a floor, right? In the Statue Cave, there are no stairs at all. You clear this game when you move all the statues onto areas with special marks on them. Once you've cleared it, I'll give you a special gift. Know that the items you find inside can't be taken with you afterwards. I'll hold on to your items in Giton so you don't have to worry about losing them in case you fail. When you think you're done for, you can simply start it over. Don't worry, we allow resets here. Well, do you want to play? Sure. Okay, now select the problems you want to play with. What? Oh my gosh, 25 pages? Um... Detour. Detour, right? You want this here? <laughs> I'll hold on to your items in Gitan, so go and have fun! <clears throat> Statue Cave. How exactly am I supposed to get that one on there? Um. 
Um, I'm already stumped. all the statues to the marked locations. Oh, you cleared it? Amazing! Let me give you your items and gitan back. The reward for clearing this time is... Eight wood arrows! Congratulations, but there are still more problems you have yet to solve, so I hope you'll try them out too. You want to keep going to the next problem? No. Oh, that's too bad. Come back and play again. Okay, and there's unique dungeons there to try. Interesting. But don't I want to just... Head this way? Head to Destiny Trail? I could always try a unique dungeon here. Yes. Which dungeon do you want to try? Hmm. Underground Manor. Underground Manor? The Underground Manor is found deep below Nekomaneki Village. It's a manor where you keep descending. Sounds tough to be told to suddenly descend 99 floors, right? But if it was easy and short, you'd just get bored of it too quickly. You'll collapse a lot in the early floors, but you'll keep retrying to see what lies deeper. We had around 2,900,000 individual requests to create this dungeon. In the underground manor, you can start from 1st floor, 11th, 21st, 31st, 41st, 61st, 71st, 81st, and 91st. So you descend 10, so you descend 10 floors each time. Huh? You don't think you can make it that deep from level 1? Never fear, I'll lend you an item that will help you even down in the lower levels. I'll raise your level depending on how far down you are too. Oh, by the way, clearing this dungeon doesn't have any rewards. But in exchange, once you clear it, you can bring back up to four items from the dungeon. However, you're not allowed to bring back pots no matter what. Place a bunch of ordinary pot near the goal area, so be sure to use them to organize your inventory. If you want the items I lent you first, then just pick those out. So you want to go ahead and try to defeat the Underground Manor? No. That's fine. You shouldn't have forced yourself. Hunter Pond? No. Steal items for month. Hunter Pond is past that path. Take a turn and you'll find a big pond. Gan and the other hunters go there to hunt, so people call it Hunter Pond. It's not some place for wanderers like you to enjoy. It doesn't look like there are any items on the ground there. But if you defeat monsters, they drop items. It seems the drop rates are higher there than in most places, so there's an advantage to going in. However, it still has its own perils. You want to know why? Because it's a pond. Get it? You don't get it? Well, you'll find out when you get there. Hmm. I think we should probably just head out. to Destiny Trail. I mean, we can always come back, right? Destiny Trail, first floor. By the way, Matthew, do you know how to suspend the game? Open the menu and select suspend. If you're tired, just go and take a break. Reach level two. Upgrade seed. Oh, I forgot to sell stuff. <laughs> I probably want that upgrade seed. How do I? How 
How do I go back? Oh, we have that growth bracelet. Oh no, I can't go back. Oops. Heavy shield. Oh, there's good stuff here. Point switch, but nothing happened. Well. Let's drop that. Great seed was picked up. Use this game Tinkerer status. Using this will replenish some fullness. Fullness. When in Tinkerer status, your up your equipped weapon and shield will be upgraded more quickly. Hmm. And heavy shields. What's mage staff? Target hit by magic bullets will be stricken with confused, asleep, warp, or have their speed decrease. Throwing the staff will produce the same effect. Electric staff. We'll take electrocution damage. Throwing the staff will produce the same effect. Electrocution damage will chain to adjacent units, so be careful it doesn't hit you or your allies. Um. Let's go ahead and swap that. And equip that to have a shield plus one. Is it better than the wolf's head? Power eight, upgrade max ten. Power twelve, thirteen, upgrade fifteen. This shield has high defense, but the shield heft makes you hungry quicker. You have to think hard about whether or not to equip this. All right, let's unequip that. Equip the wolf's head. Ouch. Top of herb. Fate scroll. I don't see any way to go back to the village, though. We have to do everything at a village first. Transient staff. Oh, ordinary stick. <clears throat> I forget what a fate. Scroll does. Maybe there's a... Bull shield. Top of hard peach. Um... Let's swap that. Power 4. The shield will restore some fullness if you take direct damage. The effect will increase as the shield is upgraded. And it's just a regular bull shield. Oh, I don't have any Onigiri, so that might be a good way to... Hard Peach. Let's go ahead and swap that for Hard Peach. Um, details. Replenishes fullness and gives you bolstered, okay. Oops. Onigiri. Oh, I missed. Um... Let's 
go ahead and eat the hard peach. Copper cleaver. Um. Just a regular copper cleaver. Power seven. This weapon deals bonus damage to metal monster types. It boasts a big blade and looks powerful. Yeah, that's fine. I have to swap this. Oh, that's two-handed. Mm. Okay, so let's drop the swap the dull gold edge. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what I'll identify today. I know. Today I'll identify some shields. Let's go. All right. It's the first ID, so you don't pay me. Let's see this shield. All the shield outside of pots have been identified. Identification is complete. You're good to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Oil scroll. Snake shield. Um. Oh. Oh, he stopped because he reached level eight. Okay. Scroll. Oil scroll. Oh. Uh, pay him 500. Hmm. So I don't quite understand. How things work yet. We're making progress. Oops. On the story path rather than doing a random dungeon. So that's fair enough. Ooh. Shintala. Oh. What sort is that? Ordinary stick, question mark. It's an unidentified ordinary stick, but we'll stick with the copper cleaver. Earth scroll. Huh, where's the exit? Was I spawned right on top of the exit? And does level only count? Yeah, I was spawned right on top of the exit. Huh. And does level only count while you're in the dungeon and then everything resets? Alright, this could be tricky.
presto pot. Oh. Grass kid. Herb. We need something for fullness, so... Herb? We'll also replenish your fullness a bit. Yeah, let's use it. Didn't replenish it much. Strip trap. Your equipment was removed. Another ordinary stick. Preservation pot. Um... We should go ahead and pick up this preservation pot for herb. And put the large onigiri in there. And that's it for now. Last shield. Oh, isn't that a, a mixer or something? Don't I throw items into him to upgrade? Oh, his XP is doubled. I just lost my... Oh dear. I'm in trouble. Uh Oh, that only does fullness. Uh, oh. One HP left. <laughs> um, and I have no regular herbs. Blast shield. There's an herb. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and swap and use the herb. Wow. And what are these? What is this ordinary? Just regular ordinary stick. Blast shield. The shield reduces explosive damage. The special effect on this shield is great. And that is what? Oh, jeez. I just did it again. But I've only got an ordinary stick now. I thought he was a mixer. But I am level 11, so... <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know how I survived that one. Life grass. Power up grass. What does life grass do? Use this to increase your max HP and replenish fullness. Let's put that in the preservation pot let's pick this up power up grass all right We have enough power up grass. Upgrade seed. 
And this does what again? Tinkerer status. Yeah, we don't need an upgrade seed. Dropped a sail pot. That sounds like something I should use. Items uncertain of this pot will be converted into their Giton value. Cool. Ooh, Giton. 288, 370. Ah, large onigiri. Oh, I can insert it directly from my feet. That's good. Huh. Okay, we made it to... Wow, look at these graphics. To a tower. Oh, it's the Tower of Fortune. So, this is Reva's Tower, the legendary Tower of Fortune. Matthew, be careful. The God of Destiny rules this place. Anything could happen in here. Huh. Towers of the past, present, and future. You can enter whichever one you want. You have to conquer all three of them and gather the dice of fate or you won't be able to go atop the tower. What are you? I am Tao. I'm a part-time guide for the Tower of Fortune. Do you wish to challenge the Tower of Fortune? Then I, Tao, shall be your guide. The tower to your left is the Tower of the Past. The denizens there aren't so strong. I would recommend starting there. In the center, we have the Tower of the Present. The monsters there are a bit more fierce, so I'd suggest tackling the Tower of the Past first. Collect some strong weapons and equipment before you head to the Tower of the Present. Finally, on your right is the Tower of the Future. That one's tough. You can start there if you want, but unless you know what you're doing, that's not a great idea. I strongly recommend against going into that one first. Well, that's what they usually say. Well, that ends the free section of the tour. Would you like to hire me, Tao, as your guide? If you hire me as a guide, I'll join you as an ally, and it'll be a huge help to you. No need to be shy. My guide fee is a mere 1500 What do you say? Sure. Then it's settled. We'll meet up on site. We'll meet again soon. You better be sure to make it where I to where I am. Tao joined you. Huh. Hey, Tao. I'm Kappa. This is my partner, Matthew. Got it. Matthew and Kappa. Nice to meet you both. Or is that Copa? Matthew and Copa. Nice to meet you both. She's a weirdo. Huh. So we can enter any of the three towers? It's probably best if we started with Tower of the Past. Let's go, Matthew. I'm a little disappointed. Dungeon to your right. Dungeon to your left. Dungeons everywhere. Make sure you keep up with me. I'm your guide. I'm a little disappointed that there's not more wilderness area before heading into a dungeon or before heading into the Tower of Fortune already. Hmm, what's that? Jirokichi's grave? What is this? It says to throw a healing item on it. Let me just toss this herb I've been saving and see what happens. What? Jirokichi? What the? What happened to me? I remember a monster getting to me and I passed out and... Are you okay, Jirokichi? Aren't you the travelers I saw back at the village? I'm Kopa. This guy here is my partner, the Wanderer, Matthew. So you managed to get to this fairyland. You're looking for those dice of fate, right? For Oyu, was it? Oh, I have to change Oyu's fate, no matter what. 
I see. Jirokichi, you were collapsed here earlier. This was your grave. Me? A grave? Here? Really? I don't remember what happened after I lost consciousness. It's most likely that the emotions you hold for Oyu caused your soul to refuse to escape the tower. So, even if you're defeated by monsters, your soul will cling onto this place as firmly as it can. She's fighting her illness even now. I have to do something for Oyu. Jirokichi, I... No, we'll help you help Oyu. Let's go together. I'd like to see the top of this Tower of Fortune anyway. Right, Matthew? Thank you. With your help, I feel much more confident. Thanks. Jirokichi joined you. Huh. Now let's go. We have to look for a die of fate or something. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be more like wilderness exploration. I think that would be pretty neat. Okay, Tower of the Past. Oh boy. Oh. Cool. Alright, so this is not so easy. There's some darkness. Antidote grass. Point switch. Oil scroll. There's the steps. Ah! Surprised me. Top of jade bracelet. We should probably just equip that. Oh. Um. Let's go ahead and insert the sail, the strength bracelet into the sail pot. Um. I guess we have to smash the sail pot. To get the Giton. Okay, it was a jade bracelet. Um, this has not been identified yet, so it could be anything. Huh. Alright, let's just keep the growth bracelet. Is there any reason to go in the passageways? Oops. Otogiriso. Um. Using this will heal your HP. If you use it when your HP is full, your max HP will increase a bit. My cigarette went out. Additionally, it will cure confused status. Let's just continue on. Oh no. Okay. 385 keyton. Frago steals your equipment. Um. Oh boy. What is that? A trap? Ordinary stick has grown to become good stick. Its power went up by one, its upgrade limit went up by five, and gained one more rune counts. I guess it's good to explore the whole dungeon before just moving on. Presto pot. Knee girl. Nigiri baby. Let's kill Frago before he steals something. So far, so good. scroll 
Nice. Whoa. Grass kid through grass and we gained attack power. Huh. That's different. Oh, Onigiri. Let's throw that in the preservation pot. I think that's a trap. Spring trap. Okay. Let's... Oh, but it didn't trigger. Oh, that was a sweet nut. We could have... Filled that up. Yikes, hitting hard. Keep on. Like, how do we go back to the village and stuff? That's what I'm curious about. Alright, there's a sweet nut. Alright, we gotta kill this thing. Go ahead and ah! Oh no. I've got to just cancel cuz I Wait, who is that? That's our guide, no. Wait, Jiro Kichi. Tao. Yeah, our guide. I'm just going to actually Alt F4. I know. That whole episode is wasted. But I just wanted to get a sense of the dungeon. We are going to make progress in the dungeon. Um, <clears throat> but, y yeah. <laughs> I don't want to kill the guide because I think if you kill the guide, she's done being your guide for good. So I had to be more careful there. I didn't realize what would happen. Um, that's probably gonna happen more in the future too if I'm if I'm honest like trying different things like that But uh, anyway, I wanted to check out more of the dungeons back at Nekomane Nekomaneki village And maybe see What we could do there more more um, And try to figure out if there's a way to get back to Nekomaneki village because it has the buyers and s the traders and all that good stuff there. So I don't know. I'm going to have to like figure that out more next time. But I hope you enjoyed anyway. Uh, next time we'll probably look at more of those dungeons in Nekomaneki Village. And then head back to the Tower of the Past. And I'll just skip the dialogue and we'll, we'll head in and we'll do the Tower of the Past more. But uh... Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. Much love, peace, and joy, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.